Hey guys, well, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be reviewing my new mannequin. I got this one for my birthday as a birthday gift from Jethro. And it's obviously something I've always wanted and it was such a mission just to find something like this because they're very expensive and being on a budget and everything and trying to make sure that I don't like overspend on unnecessary things until I'm, I can say I'm a designer or a professional designer. I didn't want to like really spend too much money on it but after a long time researching and finding things on Amazon I was ready to actually buy one on Amazon and that's unfortunately because um, like I said they're super expensive in South Africa so my last resort was Amazon which was pretty and then at the end of the month just as I was about to buy it, I realized I have to pay for customs and the whole thing ended up being actually more than the product itself. So it was a bit disappointing. All good though, because after a while, um, Jester actually looked online and found a place called dressmakerdolls.co.za and they were amazing. So they are, well, the whole thing is run by a guy called Leon and he gave me everything that I could possibly know about the mannequin before making the decision told him I'm into green and so he made sure that he also recommends the one that obviously works with my favorite colors and that was actually the one that's in this box and the one thing I must say about the place um, as I open this actually I can talk about it um, the one disadvantage was that it's actually in Pretoria and I'm based in Cape Town so it was definitely a trust thing I had to also get out of the way um, but look I wanted a mannequin and it was like a risk we were willing to take because we looked around the website had good reviews and we just thought it's gonna work out and it did so the guy after I ordered um, from there started chatting to me on whatsapp telling me every step of the way I got pictures from him um, of the actual mannequin being packed and so it was very nice to know like from the get-go um, he kept me up to date with everything and then I mean it showed up on my door um, two three days later so super happy with that um, Leanne Kutz, um, Kutz I think is the name but dressmaker dolls and in Pretoria North they're very cool so we're super excited I'm gonna see what's in there and get to it. So I'm going to start opening up the box and I'm just going to list out a few things that are in here. So bear in mind that I did open this before this video. Um, the first one I tried was actually quite a huge fail because the camera ended up like right here. So I've shot the first part of the video and all you could see was my mouth and everything else. So lesson learned there. Help, get some help from the people I live with which is Jethro or just use a mirror or something to help me see at least what's happening behind the camera as well. Um, but so I try to keep it as similar to how I got it. I ended up using a different kind of tape which you'll see as I open the box um, just to show you how it was placed when I got it. So you get this huge box obviously with a fragile sticker on it and it was delivered by Korea guy which was also pretty cool because I like those guys and it had my name on it, Bridget. Um, so I opened it up and I actually sent him a photo on um, WhatsApp thanking him and saying it's arrived and it was pretty cool because he was like, oh, yeah, he, he was a very cool guy. I liked him and I'm definitely going to be buying from these guys a lot more just because they delivered and the guy really kept me up to date with everything. This is Leon, I should start using his name. <laughs> but um, yeah, they kept me up to date with everything that it just felt so, so, like such a nice experience and I learned a lot about using mannequins and this one specifically, of course. But it was really cool. Anyway, I'm going to show you, the box is also quite light, so you can literally carry this on your own, you don't need any hands. Um, then what comes out first is this. So I'm not going to pretend I know um, how to make it work at the moment, but I do know this is a stand. Um, it has things that will work with it, so we'll put that there for now. And then after that, you get this whole thing covering the mannequin, which is inside. Can you see the screen? I'm so excited to actually see the color and actually see it on um, a stand and everything. I'm super excited. But you get that. This is the part where I said I used my own tape from home. It was actually a see-through tape and it was torn and I tried to make it as neat as possible for you. Um, but I'm gonna tear that, so excuse the noise. Put 
have this can be some extra boxes I can use when I send some stuff to my siblings. So it's nice. Not too extreme like the recent take about boxes I've been getting. Um, and then inside you get this little package which has the leg supporter so I assume I'm gonna try that. Okay, there you go. So I remember how to do this just because I watched the tutorials that Leon sent me before I even got the product. So I do know it goes here. <laughs> so we have a few more of these. Should we just put it together? Let's put them together. Um, let's just do that. I mean, you don't need that much strength, I promise. Um, I just need to work more on my arms <laughs> at the gym. But there you go, we got a nice four-way stand supporter and I don't know what this is about but I'm sure at some point I will figure it out uh, once I watch the tutorials again. I only watched the ones just to see what I was expecting because I was super excited and it has some sort of sizes here so I assume that's to do with height, centimeters and inches. We'll figure it out as we go. But there you go, got this first part out. And then inside the package, there's also a how-to, I assume. It looks like a how-to assembly and adjustment instructions for dressmaking models. Yep, so you get some nice guidelines as well on how to adjust this into the perfect size for you. I also saw that with some of the tutorial videos that like if you're doing bras and stuff, that's something we obviously can't really adjust on the doll. Um, but I'm sure there's actually dolls out there that you can do that, but with this one you can't. But apparently just putting a bra, like your own bra, and filling it up with some padding and putting it on the doll. That's the trick, which makes sense. And then you have a tailor-made um, guide to dress form sizes. Okay, so these are measurements just to help you out, um, I assume as well. Um, that's what it looks like. So it's very helpful, so I'll keep it there as well. And then the big reveal, it's called a Rani, 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 R-A-N-Y, I, and I. <laughs> so we're gonna take that out. <laughs> I'm excited. This is the first time I'm actually holding her in my arms like this. So I've kept it in the box this whole time so I can do this and I'm finally happy that I can hold her next to me and see how it looks. Okay, so it's tied at the bottom with one of these thingies. These are, I don't know what I told you to call these big wires. You can just shape to tie things up. Um, I'm sure there's a proper name for it, I just don't know it. And that might be our only biggest challenge, although, oh, no, never mind, we can untie it. What's this? Oh my god, it even smells good. <laughs> okay, so here she is, Rani by Zaytex. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to remove the sticker, put it somewhere where I can remember actually so that I can learn more about how to work with her. But oh my god, there she is! My new dressmaker to encourage me to design my own stuff and maybe hopefully other people's designs. Okay, so we got that. I mean, it seems simple enough, so now I'm assuming that I can just put it here. I'm sure there's a way I should look for instructions to do this, but it seems pretty explanatory as well. Maybe this just wanna see. Um, I think you just put it on there and then you tie it. You tie it up. There you go. There you go. And then you just tie it tightly, I think, and then that kind of. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> I think that's it. That's all you need. And you have your dressmaker doll all assembled. And that was like super, super, super easy. I'm going to put her further back so that she is in the toilet. 
There you go. Now I have a new mannequin by Dressmaker Dolls and I hope you get your own at some point or if you want to see any more reviews around here, let me know and then I can always review them if they are part of my pay payment plan and it's something that I'm probably going to need um, as a design designer. I will definitely collect but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, um, I'll leave one right at the end of the video but you can find a lot more in the description and also of my builds if you like playing games or fashion if you want to see more updates. Follow me on Instagram and I also do have a TikTok so it's Bridget LJK and if you have any more requests let me know <laughs>